In November of 2016, American Rifleman published an article that got us all salivating as we looked forward to the new releases at SHOT Show 2017. Now that SHOT Show has already come and gone, here's my top 10 list of the new release items I think most interesting. Number 10, the Thompson Center Compass in 6.5 Creedmoor. This rifle was a budget-minded proven performer now offered in what was previously seen as a premium performance round. This should prove an interesting option for those on a budget looking to get into the long-range game. Number 9 is the TPSF Elite and the TP9SFX. The TP9SF Elite has been interesting to say the least and now Canik is showing us that they're going to do a long slide version with RMR cut. Hmm. Look forward to checking that out. Number 8, Magpul releases its popular X-22 stock for the Ruger 1022 takedown in a backpacker configuration. That idea looks awesome. Number 7, Smith & Wesson releases their M&P 10 from the Performance Center in 6.5 Creedmoor. This should prove an interesting long-range option as well. Number 6. I didn't see a lot of buzz about SIG's re-release of the classic P210, but thankfully Larry Vickers tuned us in to this release because this is a beauty for sure. Number 5. Fijicon's release of a 1-8 to power optic priced competitive enough to compete with Vortex's popular 3-gun Razor HD scope is very interesting indeed. Number 4, Smith & Wesson's update to the popular M&P line was sure to attract a lot of attention. It did, and it's understandable. The 2.0 seems to be an interesting option. Thanks to Justin Opinion for getting out his calipers and letting us know it's a wee bit wider. Number three. Honestly didn't see Vortex releasing a holographic sight. It's a real surprise, but a pleasant one. I'm pretty excited to get my hands on a UH-1. Number two. The CZ P10C appears to be a real showstopper. Number one. The H9. Is it inside the box or is it outside the box? Either way, it's interesting as it seems to be innovation in an industry that is always needing fresh blood. We'll see what develops from this new manufacturer. It's not on my current to buy list, but I think it's good for the industry nonetheless.